can be sure that I'm going to itch me where it scratches. Ain't no doubt about that. <laughs> Welcome to the Freakers Ball Show, folks. This is a Friday, November 9, 2018. 11-9. That's kind of like the opposite of 9-11. Ooh, spooky. Anyway, uh, yeah, it's the Freakers Ball. We're live on RealLibertyMedia.com there on the Freakers Ball show page, which can be accessed in a number of ways from the front site there. Just look where it says show pages. And let's drop down and uh, pick Freakers Ball. Or if you're listening on the audio stream in any of the various places it goes to, uh, none, not the least of being RLMRadio.xyz, uh, welcome to you all as well. And uh, we are in many, many, many places out there on that audio stream. So uh, good to have you around here uh, with us this evening, wherever you may be out there in Radio Land. But we do have Video Land, too, so bear that in mind and, and, and know that that's true. And also we have the chat here. But let me say howdy, hi and howdy to the folks out there on the various other sites where I send out notices to, like Twitter. Howdy, Tweeter folks. Anybody out there listening in? Come on over to the chat. You too, over there on Minds.com. Yeah, yeah, come on over to the chat. Or FreedomsNetwork.com. Yeah, howdy to you all. And the RealLiberty.org website. Great bunch of folks there. Great website. Good stuff for you all. Join on in over there. And you'll be glad you did. Both of that and Freedoms Network, yeah. yeah. Both of those. Uh, but anyway, we have the chat here, you know, the, uh, the, the the main primary chat here that we talk to folks in and get requests and uh, all those all those things. And, and we got also we got the Mighty Moose Girl. Hello. Hello. <laughs> there she is. Hey, how you doing? I'm okay. You need to adjust my levels, though. I did, didn't I? I don't know. All right, well, I'll, I'll check it again. I got my mixer up here. Yeah, because... Yeah, well, I was, say some well stuff. I was too loud last time. Well, I'll, I'll bring you down a little bit extra, but I think you should be all right. Yeah, it, I listened back to the podcast, and it, I was way louder than you. Oh, is that not normal? Well, yeah, but it sounded, uh, it was bad. Okay, well, I, I, uh, oh, I'm I'll, just saying. Am I bringing down the, yeah, I gotta bring this down. Yeah, I, I, got, I got so many things open. All right, so, no, go, yeah. Take your time. <laughs> What's that? Take your time. <laughs> yeah, no, I, I think, I think I got you. We'll, we'll see. Right, we we, we okay, don't well, know until after it's over. Right. Well, if it sounds really bad, hopefully people will let us know. That. Oh, well, it's different. The, the podcast gets, gets different levels than the. Oh, it is? Yeah, yeah. Oh. Okay, yeah. well, maybe that was the problem. Then. I don't know. Uh, yeah, nobody said anything last week, so I'm, I'm, I'm assuming we were all good. Uh, okay, anyway, so, um, uh, so I was just coming around saying hi, howdy to the folk here. Just got, okay. I just got done greeting all the websites that we. Go out to and now they're coming here to the chat and uh, so hi and howdy to uh, y'all here in the chat uh, myself and, and the barman and the moose girl and the Kate uh, and, and the Chloe and Chelsea Doni times two Miss Circle another Chloe Don big old Don big daddy Don down there in Texas um, see, he's laughing at me. He's laughing at me. Anyway, Echelon and Flash and Goober and Gramsci and the Don, another Don. Well, how many Dons we got here? Oh, I guess we got two. All right, we got Meester Brow and Poxophone and Poxified and Pone Sauce and Rain in the Fluke Bot. Mr. Araba Works and uh, Romes and Skittle Bot and Vin E. He's so easily amused. Uh, we got <laughs> Phantom and Hasbro 2. Uh, we got Colfax and Cyborg and Noodle and Dakota and Frumpy and Grummet and Java Doctor and uh, JJJ's 999. Kozu and Mo E here in the chat. And who knows who all listening wherever else out there, out there where they do. So, uh, 
Yeah, yeah. Absolutely. <laughs> uh, yeah, welcome everyone, and um, thanks for tuning in. I just am, I, I, earlier today, uh, earlier this evening, I was watching a, some live footage from California. Yeah. And it's bad. It's bad, guys. I mean, I don't mean to make light of it at all because it's terrible. It's just... Right. It is terrible. Something awful. And it's. I just can't even imagine um, having to evacuate in an hour, um, leave your home not knowing if it's safe or not, coming home, back home and seeing that your house is totally burned to the ground. Right. Um, that would be horrible. Still spiking. What does that mean? Okay, Goober says almost five by five, a little high on treble, which I, I don't know how to deal with that because I don't have tonal control. I'm saying still spiking. Okay, me yeah, probably. But I don't. I don't know. What, I don't know what still uh, spiking means. <laughs> I don't know it's, can I adjust my? No, I, he didn't. Say, uh, on the fire? Say, let's get some clarification first as to what still spiking means. Because I don't know what still spiking means. Do I have settings here? Settings. Let me go to settings. Here, Moosey. Now Grim is too loud. Oh, okay. Okay. I'll bring Moose back up some. I thought I might have took her down a little bit too too far. Oh, okay. All right. <laughs> yeah, uh, it's it's bad news out there, and the one um, Wolsey fire. Wolsey? It is not, it's called, it's named the Wol, Wolsey Fire, and it's 0% contained, meaning it's, they're not controlling these at all. They're, these are out of control fires, and it, it, they have saved some neighborhoods, but they don't have enough people fighting these things. Right. So, it, it they can't save the whole area. I mean, it's just impossible. Hmm. But uh, some people that I saw interviewed that are from there, and they're like, this is, they." the one lady said she's lived there 29 years, and she said she's never seen it in that area that bad. Right. So, um, I just, I, you know, people choose to live out there. I get it. It's beautiful, like the one guy said. He's like, it's so beautiful to live here. Yeah, look at that picture. All these people trying to get out, and this huge, I mean, when it's black like that, that means there's, like, flames, like, large, and, yeah, homes are burning. Right. And it's just, I, I'm sorry, I, I could not live in California. For one thing, it's so fucking expensive out there. That's but another thing. thing, you got this stuff going on. Right. Like, every year this happens. You know, maybe not in the same area every year, but every year this freaking happens there. And part of the problem is, is there's so much tinder for the fire there. Right. And all these valleys and canyons and everything. And the wind blowing makes it worse, makes it way worse. Oh, sure, sure. Yeah, five people apparently died in their cars. Yeah, there's a map um, shows Butt Meadows, Chico. Bunch of people. Oh, go ahead. Uh, whatever, uh, Chico, Prince, Princeton, Palermo. Then the, the well, start point of the campfire was there. Thousand Oaks is the one is the, the city that got totally devastated last night. And you got Woolsey fire down here. And There's Hill, a bunch Hill, of them. There's like four of them, Hill I think. fire. Yeah. Yeah, All it's right. not good. And got some house on fire. I mean, these are huge homes, too, and they're multi-million dollar homes. I mean, obviously not everyone that lives there lives in a multi-million dollar home, but, I mean, just unreal devastation. And it goes so quickly. That's the thing that just, 
if, when you get stuck in these, like those people that died, yeah. you're screwed. It's Calabasas fire or whatever. Yeah, you're screwed if, if you're stuck in this and you can't get out. You, you know, people, yeah, they're man, a lot of mansions, Kate, a lot of money. Um, well, obviously, guy. if they can afford a home like that, they have insurance, you know. <laughs> See, this guy, he says, oh, I'm all right. The fire's way back there. <laughs> what? Oh, that's too close for comfort there, buddy. And with the wind blowing. And the problem oh, okay. is, they said, that part of the part of the problem is the wind, and these once the fire started and it gets close, and the trees start on fire, then all these embers start flying everywhere. And that's what started a lot of the home fires. Is you just don't know what the wind's going to do and where it's going to bring those embers from all these other these other houses going, burning up, you know? Right. This house is right on PCH. Yeah. It, they, they were thinking it wasn't going to cross it, but it did. Yeah, so. Yeah, it's... I, I feel bad for these people. If I was... If, if I lost my home that way, I would want to move. I mean... And I feel bad because I know there's going to be a lot of horse deaths, horses. A lot of people own horses, but they don't store them where they live. They store them up in the mountains. Yeah, well, they got some llamas, yeah. some llamas right. hanging out at the at the lifeguard station or something. Some people got their animals out, but some people waited waited too long, and by the time they went to get them, they couldn't get to them. You know, like the horses. Oh yeah, there's like a there's like a little horse. Shetland pony yeah. or something. Some people got out, but yeah, if you can see the fire, Rob, I agree. It's too close. <laughs> Get the hell out of there. I mean, they were telling stories today on that live feed that people were waiting till the last minute to leave their home, and they were running in there to grab things, and the fire's like, the building's already on fire. I'm like, dude, you're, you're stupid. Yeah. I mean... You don't run into a burning building. You just don't do that. You just, yeah. All right, there's a tanker air, uh, flying over to homes. Yeah, that's the one in Calabasas. They actually saved a, a neighborhood today using that fossil, fossil, they have a name for it. Kate, do you know what it's called? Yeah. Fossil something. Anyway, it leaves this red mark on the land, on the land, and in, th in this case, they put it right on the homes. Yeah, fire um, maybe garden. You can see if it's in the article, fire something. Yep, but um, it seemed to work. But like I said, they can't save every neighborhood, and it, you know they're just scrambling. Yeah. You know they're just scrambling to get this under control somehow, but. They have um, a war red flag warning until Tuesday. So this isn't over at all by any stretch. I mean, they've, they've been saying all day that the Woolsey fire is 0% contained. Right. So, you know, they're telling you, you know, the thing I'm worried about, too, is they have shelters in place at, like, schools and places like that. So what what if, what if the fire uh, threatens those places? <laughs> yeah, what do you do? You know, the, what, the, only, what the only you places do? to run, but uh, it looked like from, from the map, go back to the map here, um, oh, okay. they could go north or south from depending on which which one they're at and, right. and get out of it because there's nothing I mean you get all this coastline here and then you get yeah. all the area south below that there's nothing going on there so no. uh, I mean if they put the evacuation centers right in the area where the fire is well that's just fucking stupid yeah so, they um, need to, yeah <laughs> I don't know exactly where the evacuation centers are in comparison to the fires yeah but they better hope they're above the fire per se. You know what I mean? Yeah, I, I away, you know, and some some distance away. 
Or, right. But what, whatever, you know. It's, uh, I mean, well, I just had that thought today that people at these shelters think they're safe, but, what, you know, did they see where the shelter is in comparison to, you know, the direction of the fire, which I'm sure they thought about that when they set up these centers, but yeah, it's so that. unpredictable. Let me see if I got that little... Uh, that it's little. so unpredictable. I got... I got a, yeah, here it is. Yeah, it's happened every year for many years, pretty much. Uh, yeah, this, is a, this is a little uh, short, short video. Let me get it zoomed in on Okay. Here. Um... Yeah, this is this is bizarre. This video was eerie. When I saw this this morning, the one you're going to play, yeah. I was like, whoa, that looks scary as hell. And then there's that bus there, and it's like, where do those people go? Do they get out? Right, well, they, did they try to right. run? And they're, <laughs> you know... It, All right, so here, here's the video. Okay. So you see, he's just driving there. It's like fucking nothing. Oh, there's the bus, yeah. And then, uh, it's eerie. But just all these cars, just just there. The, the no no human, no no people around. Yeah. Like it makes you wonder if that bus was full. We'll run, we'll run um, it again. We'll run it again. Yeah. And there's a bunch of people missing. I've heard so. Well, I imagine, are, yeah. Well, you know, people have to run if you got to run from your car. Trying to get out and didn't make it. I mean, it's brutal. That's brutal. Yeah. You know what surprises everywhere. me is, it, you know, it was a fast-moving fire because of all those trees standing there. And, and let me re let me read what the description here was on this here. It says, okay. Uh, many people seemingly did not get out in time. Footage shows dozens of burned vehicles left behind following Camp Fire and Woolsey Fire in California. It yeah. looks like a scene from The Walking Dead. It does look like that, though. Five fatalities so far. Yeah, it so. does look... Well, I saw, I saw recently it's nine now. All right, well, this was this morning, so... Yeah, right. So, it... it I don't. I get it. It's a natural thing that happens. It's just like people. Well, well, maybe it was a natural thing that happened. Right. We don't know that for sure. <laughs> we don't know that we for don't sure. Know that that's, at all. that's a good point. But um, uh, and then people are crazy. Oh, they yeah. drive through the fucking fire. It's like, what are you thinking? What are you thinking? If you drive real fast. Yeah, it's like, dude, <laughs> or, or person, you're, you're stupid. Oh. You know, you're, you're going to, and then the, the ranch, the Paramount Ranch, which is where they filmed parts of Westworld. Oh, okay, right. It burned down. It's been yeah. there, they've been using it in, for movies since 1927. Right. It's gone. Well, right. it you know, what are you going to do? Completely gone, but right, right. It's at the bottom, towards the bottom of that article, but um, yeah. Which that's a Hollywood thing. That's really you know who cares, but it's 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 <laughs> exactly. just crazy that, and I know the area Malibu. That's high bluff. You gotta be oh, rich yeah. to live there. Those, those people are used to disaster, though. <laughs> I get well. I don't they, think they, they are. They get the fires. They get the earthquakes. They get the floods, and and they they just you know the, the insurance pays them off. They build new houses right there on the same, you know, unstable land. Right. Yeah. See, I wouldn't do it. I would not feel comfortable. Even right. if I had the money, even to rebuild, it would be like I'm moving. Yeah, that's you where uh, what was his name? Uh, Clint Eastwood. He was the mayor of Malibu. Carmel. 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 That's right there. <laughs> right, right next to it, right? Yeah. Yeah. As far he as was, I know, right That was a long time ago, but he was at one time. Yeah, but up there are those people, you know. Right. That, oh, that, yeah. That's the kind of people that live up there. Yep. Yeah, you, no, uh, I know. Hollywood actors and producers and directors and everyone that has money and, you know, it's expensive. It's It's rich, rich, rich. 
Right, but those other folks out in the out in the uh, other areas, uh, well, once you get away from Malibu and Hollywood and all right. that, and those other fires, those are pretty devastating to whoever. Yeah. Oh, yeah. It's it's normal people like me and you. Yeah. It's, yeah. Just just folks. Right. Just normal people that aren't involved in Hollywood or anything and don't have. Yeah, shit just living their life, money. just doing whatever they do, working at Walmart right. or who knows. Well, the one lady that I saw interviewed, she was devastated. And her well, whole her... house had burned down, and she had lived there 21 years. Yeah. And she was, like, just beyond, beside herself. You know, she was just devastated, which I can understand that. I mean, I would be. Oh, absolutely. You know, it's not a fun thing to go through. Yeah, no, I get it. I get it. It's just so... It, it, and it's weird, because I was like, I couldn't stop watching it. Uh, a little hypnosis going on there, huh? Well, when you see when you see so many houses that have burned down in one spot, it's just like whoa. Yeah, yeah, I understand. You know, it's just like oh my god. You uh, know, I understand. It's crazy. It's all right. Well, let's play some music here. Okay, let's do that, and uh, we'll be back. Yeah, we will. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, this is uh, a song about some girl up in the mountains. All right, we're going to do a slow number. <laughs> oh, man, I tell you. Yeah, it's funny. That's uh, Leo Maraccioli. Uh, a brand new video just came out today there. Money for Nothing, uh, the uh, Dire Straits cover. Uh, that's great stuff. Uh, a little metal, metalized cover of uh, that song. Before that, we had Godsmack and 1,000 HP, 1,000 horsepower. Uh, the story is kind of uh, where the band came from, Godsmack. And we kicked it off with uh, Perk Near Sandstone. Uh, Back from 2011, doing the song Appalachian Girl for the Miss Moose. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah, no, I, I enjoy so, it. So Sacramento's quite well, not too far away. No, it's it's right there. It's right there. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Uh, I'm looking it up right now. I uh, I'm not too familiar with. Oh, hang on. Let me mute the player. That would be good. Probably. Oh, shoot. <laughs> oh, yeah, now, can you, did you hear the music? So, through? hopefully you're safe. Yeah, I think she's fine. She's in the middle of the town there. there, as far as I know. Um. I mean, it looks like a friggin' war zone out there, if you ask me. Oh, yeah. I, I think that, guy, that guy's description was accurate. It looked like... Uh, I can't hear you. What? Seen Hello? From, seen from okay, I can hear you better now. What? what? So I think that one guy's uh, d description was accurate. It looks like a scene from The Walking Dead. Well, it did. It do does. I was telling my son Zach was here for a little bit tonight, and I said, it does. When you look at that those pictures of those cars that you showed, that looks like a, a, a set from The Walking Dead. Yeah. Uh, it'd be perfect for him, you know. Yeah. I mean... This is, like I said, I can't even begin to imagine what it would be like to lose your home like that. Right, right. Um, well, when I, was, when I was a little kid, and I lived down there in San Diego, and yeah. uh, our backyard uh, was like right there at the, on the canyon. There was no, no how, you know, it was just a canyon behind us. Right, right, right. So and, it was all like brush and everything. Yeah, sagebrush and, you know, yep. whatever. Anyway, so every now and then, uh, you know, that place would catch on fire. Yeah. And and uh, I, you know, uh, my my mom and the stepdad, they'd be out there all, oh, what's going to happen? This this fire's going to come right right up this canyon. Well, because, yeah. yeah. I mean, fire burns uphill. And, it does. <laughs> and they, they, I, I learned there. that tonight. Well, I, so, I would think that would go downhill too. But when well, I said so it, it does burn, uphill, it, I'm like, it, it, it will go oh. downhill as well. But uh, right. it it burns uphill much faster. Okay. 
Especially when you got the wind feeling. Oh, absolutely, and, and the wind came right off the bay there, the, off of the... the uh, right, right, San Diego the there, yeah. Yeah, um, but, but the, the bay was right there on the other side below the canyon. So, I mean, because you, you could see it from the house. You, you could see the, the bay down there. And right. So, yeah, so the fire, the wind would be whipping up in the fire, and, and it just gets so much, and then everything is like smoke, and yeah, so, uh, right. <laughs> Jeez, that would but, be scary. Okay, but, but, so but, now but it never got to us. It never, it never got to us. Okay, well, you're lucky. Uh, yeah. I post the link in your in the PM. Yeah, no, I see it. Um, the t fire natal. That thing's freaky, man. It's scary. I I looked at it. I'm like, holy crap! That's, you don't see that all of, every day. Luckily, um, yeah, you don't want to see that every day. No, you don't see that every day. So I've never seen one, but it. Look at that thing. It, it that looks wicked. It does, yeah. That looks totally fucking. It, it says it's known as a fire devil. I just saw there. A fire you know, devil. It says a thrilling tower of tower of fire. Um, a fire terrifying fire nato has been seen swirling in the scorched debris of a fire that ravaged California. Um, <laughs> a fire nato whirl, also commonly known as a fire devil, fire tornado, fire swirl, or a fire twister, is a whirlwind induced by a fire and often made up of flame from a brush fire. Right. Things wicked, dude. Yeah. Yeah, there she is. There's a video. I don't know if you want to play it, no, but we'll see. When we get to it here. Okay. Yeah, it's pretty. Uh, Fire. Pretty How are okay? So the trees. Well, I can see some of the trunks of the trees are on fire here in this picture. One that I yeah. can see for sure. But yeah, okay. So the trees do take a hit too. You know, there's huh. a, some taller ones maybe that make it through, or maybe the tr the bottom parts get burned, they end up getting cut down. You know. Oh, yeah. Those, those trees will go up. Sure. Yeah. This this the video here. There's a video there. Yeah. But this is a bad one. This is devastating. Video ain't playing. Oh, that's all right. The picture was pretty good. Yeah, we got some. Of it, so we, people got an idea. The video is out there. there there's, there's, you can see how high it keeps on going straight on up to the sky there. Yeah, it's crazy. I'll post that link here. Yeah, it's like a dust devil, but with fire. Yeah, Power it's fire wicked. Needle. Well, here's another you video. You wouldn't want to see that. No, that's just Malibu. All right. <laughs> uh, now it's the wrong size. That's all right. Go back down to where you were. <laughs> it's just brutal, though. Yeah. It's not good. And, I mean, I think they said 250,000 people already have been forced to evacuate. Yeah, well, that's, and, yeah. you know... Uh, I, I can see trying to to, to like um, stand stand out a, a hurricane or something, but right. uh, not, not fire, if it's fire. Yeah. I mean, fire don't fuck around. <laughs> no, it does not. And you, it's it's unpredictable, especially with the wind. Right. And it, you know, and then people were saying, "Well, we got rooms at the hotel. Well, where's the hotel?" Is it in the path of the fucking fire? Uh, yeah. I mean, how far out of town are these people going? If I were them, I'd be going 100 miles or more away from it, you know? Right. I mean, I wouldn't be hanging around. No, you know? no, no. Not no shelter if it's in the path or maybe in the path of the fire. That's not <laughs> the answer, going to a shelter, because you're still right there. You know, and they still had school in session today at that one shelter. It's like, okay, do you guys not think this is, like, a major thing? I mean, if well, that was Wisconsin, schools would be out of session. Schools would not be in session. 
Right. They'd be like, go home, make sure you're with your family, make sure you're safe, get, you know, get your pets and your animal, your your other people out of there. Uh, uh, let me tell you, in California, if, if, if they saw somebody or they thought they saw somebody with a gun, they'd just go close schools for 100 miles around. <laughs> right, but not for these these <laughs> devastating deadly fires. But but not you know not for I, an actual actual danger, but for an imagined yeah. danger they will. And then they 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 <laughs> interviewed like the principal of the school. He's like, oh yeah, you know we still have school in session. You know just we're treating it as much of a normal day as it's like, dude, what? A normal day? <laughs> You know, this is not a normal day. Well, I, you know, I guess it also it depends how far away the schools I, are from the fire. Right, that's what I'm you saying. Know, I don't know how far from the fire the shelter is. You know what I'm saying? Right. But they they interviewed this one guy that rescued a bunch of people from like a nursing home or something or elderly apartment mm -hmm. building. Right. And the one lady forgot her dentures. So, okay. it's just stuff like that, that, you know, that lady is screwed now, you know? <laughs> I mean, because if, if the place they were at burned up, well, then dentures aren't going to make it. Yeah. I guess there's probably insurance or whatever, but it's just like, you know, they, these people had to leave very quickly. It wasn't like you had time or you had a warning, you know? Uh, yeah, I and mean, it depends on who you were or where you're at, but I mean, right, some right. people had a lot more warning than others. Uh, but as you that, can see that, from those pictures we showed earlier, people waited too long because there's all those burnt up cars. Right. So they waited too long. Or where? I mean, these these fires did kind of like spring up out of nothing. Right. Right. And with the winds combined with the winds, it's just not a good. Not a good situation at all. Yeah. Um, I feel bad for these people. I, w I couldn't imagine it. It's kind of hard to tell looking at the pictures of those cars that are all burned up. If I mean, they all look like old beaters, look like they weren't good cars in the first place. Right, true. Which seems kind of odd to me that they would have no, so many... Put your tinfoil hat on now. Oh, my tinfoil hat never comes off. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> But I'm just saying, uh, none, of the, none of these, I mean, they didn't look like a bunch of new fancy California cars, you know. Um, yeah, right. I mean, Kate, Kate said they didn't have but a two-hour warning to get out. The fire just started and, poof, it did. and came Yeah, and well, came all right the wind's through. going and you got all that tinder there, all that dry brush, because it's been a drought up there for how many years? I mean, come on. The, the stuff's just like yeah. kindling. Oh, I, I mean, if a... If, uh, if a fire started, you know, in Eau Claire right now, a big fire sweeping through, yeah, you wouldn't have very long to get out either. If it no, was... I wouldn't, but I, I just, it wouldn't happen. It's not like out there. It wouldn't happen like out there. But Unless you should, it you looks like have... an explosion, a gas explosion. You know, but you, you should have your basic stuff ready to go. Well, you should. Uh, Everyone should. Because yeah, it could be anything. It could be any situation. Yeah, you it don't could know. be the power goes out in the winter during a snowstorm, you know. I mean. Or whatever, you know. Right. Yeah. So, uh. It could be the oh, forest goes oh off when it's 40 <laughs> below outside. Oh, oh my. <laughs> that would not be good. I, 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 I gotta put this map. I gotta put this map. Up. He found something funny, apparently. <laughs> Why? <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> I don't know how I missed this earlier. Um. <laughs> There you go. From my understanding, uh, Goobs, it, <laughs> the zero containment is because they can't get in there. It's so smoky and dangerous that they can't really get into some of these areas because they're, there's just so many canyons and you, they can't see. It's so smoky. And so uh, it doesn't surprise me that it's zero contained because, like we've been saying, it's just... It's been such so dry out there that there's just all this kindling in all these canyons and everything in between the neighborhoods. There's okay. canyons and valleys and. All right, you see you see what I got up there on the screen now. Yep, yep, I see that. Okay, that's 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 right there at the hill, hill fire and the Woolsey fire, 
Well, and see, it, once that gets the ocean, it'll just burn yeah, out, right? Yeah, yeah. Kim and Kanye's home. Caitlyn right. Jenner's home. Lady Gaga's home. <laughs> right. Well, Lady Gaga's right on the ocean. And then Will, Will Smith's over here. By, by, by the side, yeah. but, um, but I, yeah, and, and, <laughs> it's like who doesn't fuck about everybody else's house? We gotta make sure you guys know what's going on with these celebrities' houses. Just make sure you check out the car. These, these are the, the Kardashians. The Kardashians. Oh God! Oh yeah! Oh those poor people that have more money than anybody. Lady, you know, yeah. Lady Gaga's home. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, and you know, I felt bad because, Kate, I was watching some footage earlier, and some people going to get their horses could not go get through to get them. Yeah. Because maybe the area the horses were in wasn't on fire, but the area to get to the the horses was on fire, and they could just not do it. And I, it's it's sad because they gave a stat of last year's fire, how many horses were killed. Right. It was like a lot. They're really into their horses out there, and that's sad to me. That's just... And horses are terrified of fire. And look at that. The poor... The, the Walt Disney Company water tower. Right oh, there. no, that's just a picture showing how close the fire is to it. I haven't heard of Walt Disney being affected. Well, I've only it's heard not about... down in Anaheim, but it's a water tower. It says Walt Disney Company on it. Right. That's probably... And, a... and see, the wild, the Minnesota wild is playing well, in Anaheim that, right that, now. No, this is probably up by the movie studios. That's what... It... Yeah, see, I looked up Anaheim because I want to know how close it is to L.A., right? Oh, it's, you know, about 80 miles south. Yeah, so they're good, but these yeah. fires are so unpredictable. Yeah, but that, this, this is probably at the, at the movie studios. Okay, yeah, right, right in L.A., you mean? Right. Yeah, yeah, in Burbank, I think they said that picture was Lovely Which is right next Burbank. to L.A. Burbank is a suburb of L.A. It's right there, right next to L.A. Yeah. I have to look up on Google Maps, you know. I'm not, I'm not from California. I've been there one time to L.A., but I'm not real familiar with the whole um, Sacramento is actually really far from fucking. Yeah, oh well, yeah, Sacramento is a good few hundred Los miles, Angeles. but it, it, it's way north and inland. Right, right. But she's saying there's a lot of helicopter traffic there. Today. Well, no, and it would be because there's also a big fire right up there in northern US. That's the ones we were showing you, the uh, Paradise Fire. Oh, the Paradise. Where is that one now? Okay, I'm sorry, I must have missed that. That's that's up there in northern California. Let me. They got a map here. Oh, yeah, yeah. Here. Oh, shit. What? So that's why that... Okay, that explains it. <laughs> okay. Um, well, you can't really How many, there must be so many fires going right now. How many is there? Like five? I don't know how many. Oh, um, my God. No, like three. Okay. Um, hey, I'm just scale this down a bit here. Yeah. So you can get it in here. But, um, yeah, see, this... this this part down here, this is the uh, the L.A. area fires. Okay, okay, fires. gotcha. This big fire is up here. This is where the Paradise and uh, the other fires are. Oh, okay, there's a little bit of a leg, so i got to wait. Oh, and get I'm up too high anyway. I don't have it on the screen. Let me drag it down. Oh, okay. Oop, oop, oop. <laughs> okay, there we go. Yeah, this up here um, in the... Uh, Northern. See, this is the valley. This is down here. Sacramento's yeah, like, yeah, Sacramento is like right here. Ranges. Yeah, Sacramento, Fresno, right okay. there. And then just up north of that, you got that. You got Shasta up here. For yeah, our, which is uh, in the mountains, right? Well, up, up, just, just up north of or the valley. There's higher elevation there, right? Yeah, yeah, just up north of the whole big valley. Okay. Yeah, all the, all this stuff up there. That's. That's that's where paradise. That's where that paradise fire was. Oh, that's not good, right? Yeah, and you got tons of it's a big logging area. You got all kinds of trees up there. It's all trees and brush, and yeah. it's been a drought up there for many years. Well, I think they got a good bit of rain this year. This year, maybe, but I know for a while there it was pretty bad. Yeah. And so all that stuff dries up, you know. Right. And dies, and it's just there, dry. It's like kindling. Sure. You know. Well, yeah, and that's what they get for that's what they get for you know being banning logging everywhere. 
Because when the loggers right. were working the area... Clear cut and make it a lot better. Yeah, well, uh, no, clear cut, but you go, you go in there and you <laughs> maintain... But, you know, go in and clean out the... You know, I know what you mean. I know, it's yeah. not called just, clear, just clear cut. Clear cut is not what loggers, you want. Lo <laughs> Logging maintains a forest to a, a reasonable, workable level so that right. fire comes through. They don't have all kinds of tons of extra dead fuel laying around. Well, they could use Minnesota and Wisconsin as examples, especially Minnesota, because there was a huge fire up in the Boundary Waters recently, and they had it was it could have been worse. Right. But they've they've taken measures through the years to prevent a massive forest fire up there. You know. Right. Right. And so, um, there it's almost like they're better equipped to deal with this kind of thing. You know, in California, which, although, I've seen some pretty impressive things today by these firefighters in California. Yeah. I mean, they're no wimps or wussies. They're fucking out there doing their jobs. Oh, and yeah, sure, absolutely. Doing what they can, and it's a dangerous job. So I got, I, I can't, like, not give them kudos, you know? Right, um, absolutely. Yeah, so yeah. you got to give them cre those guys credit. They're doing what they can, sure, you know? Sure. All right, let's play another set here. Okay, they did say they're having some people from other places come in to help them, but well, yeah, there'll be more. I mean, it, it's 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 only been a short while, so right. It just started, like Kate pointed out in the chat. Uh, it, it it's basically this is a new thing. Right. So you'll you'll be getting help from right. all over the place. Oh know, yeah. Especially now, it's not fire season, so. Um, right. You know, you'll yeah. get, they'll get people from you know uh, Oregon and Washington and Nevada, New Mexico and Arizona. Everybody, will, everybody, will go out and help them. Right. Yep. Oh yeah, they will. So. All right. All right. All right. We'll be back. We will be back. Absolutely. <laughs> this is a buddy guy with a nice gal with him. <laughs> Uh, uh, that's good, great stuff there, uh, John Prine. When I get to heaven, that's a Miss Kate request. Great stuff, funny, funny guy. Uh, before that, we had uh, Ford the Moose Girl, Horseshoes and Hand Grenades, doing a song called Whiskey. Great tune on there as well. And we kicked it off with Buddy Guy. What you gonna do about me with Miss Beth Hart? Oh, nice stuff. All nice stuff. Nice. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I mean, natural disasters can happen, but these fires out there are natural. I mean, are a common occurrence. It's like, I would not be able to be okay with that. I would just be constantly worried. You know? Yeah. I mean, well, I you guess. constantly... You have you have to be concerned constantly about your home. Like for me, living in Wisconsin, like I said, in the winter, if it gets forty below, you have to make sure you have some kind of heat source. I mean, oh, you will die. I mean, right. you will well, freaking you know, die. You got to prepare for the area you're living in. Yeah, you do. And um, I just can't imagine though fires, like you said, Grim. There. You can't, you know, her earthquakes and tornadoes and hurricanes are one thing, but a fire don't mess around. No, it don't. Uh, I just, I, I, I feel bad, but, you know, I, I feel mm. worse, than, you know, this sounds cold, but I feel so horrible for the animals. I mean, it, even when the hurricanes happened in Texas and when all the flooding happened in Houston, I was like, I care about people, but I worry so much about the animals. Like, when I saw that one cat that they showed, the firefighters found, and he, that poor thing, my heart just was breaking. You know, it was just like, oh, my God, that uh, poor yeah. animal. But they ended up getting him to a vet. Uh, just, uh, you know, uh, and, I, and I feel bad for the cat, too, but, uh, you know, out there in the woods, all kinds of craps, all animals are well, dying yeah. out there. You know, that's so. just one cat. I get, you know, I get that, you know. Yeah. But I just feel so bad for the horses that people couldn't get to, uh, you know, today. Right. Um, And horses are terrified of fire. I mean, 
Seriously, they it freaks them out. Yes, uh, it which do. it freak would freak any you know, human out. You know, if, if you're be, you know, oh. and they showed some footage today, and you can probably look it up. You know, on the various various clips that are out there, but some morons driving through this crap. And there's embers flying everywhere. Well, you know, maybe it, 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 like four flames. It's like you're a fucking moron. It's possible they had no choice, uh, depending, you know, where. That's true. If they were trying to get out, but I don't think they were. I think they were going back into it. Yeah. You know, it's just like you don't know. You can't. You, you get stuck if the fire's across the road. You're screwed, dude. Yeah. If it's behind you, you're screwed. You can't get out. Yeah, no. at least with hurricanes, Kate, you get kind of a warning, you know. Um, we well, do now. Yeah. yeah. You know, with all with all the, uh, you know, weather stuff we got going on out there, you can certainly watch what's going on with a hurricane. Right. Uh, it's, it's, yeah. It's pretty yeah. rare they spring up out of nothing, but we have seen those too. Right. Yeah. And you know, the, if a fire did happen here in Eau Claire. We it wouldn't be out of control. Like this, it wouldn't get out of control. Like if it was right in Eau Claire, it wouldn't get out of control because we have so much water here. Yeah. I mean, we have two rivers that converge in, in the middle of town. There's sure, just no sure. way it's going to happen. Yeah. And so, I mean, flooding could happen, but I'm I'm so far up from the you know the river that I would not get flooded here. But. It, you know, unless it was like a natural gas explosion, then I, I'm I think I'm good as far as fires go. But we still get storms and hurricanes and brutal cold weather in the winter. Sure, that can kill you. You know, it can kill you. Like I've already determined now after tonight, I went out walking around. I was wearing my clogs. No, no, no more clogs outside. I need boots. You gotta have that tread, that traction, or you're gonna fucking end up on your ass. And even with boots, you can end up on your ass if it's sheer ice. Right. You know, under the snow, because it's been snowing, like, lightly all day. Mm -hmm. And what happens, and I told the boys, because they went up north this weekend, I said, drive slow, because I looked out the window, and it's lightly snowing out there. Yeah. Well, even that lightly snowing is enough to make the roads slippery or greasy, you know? Yeah. And so I'm like, drive safe, you know. Luckily, they took the suburban up there, but um, and it was it stopped snowing now. But it, we got a good inch inch of snow, and that's enough to to create accidents. People like what happens is you go to you know at a four way stop sign like on a side street or something, like they they sand and insult the, the main roads, right? Right. The side streets don't get it right away. So what happens is all these cars are going up to the stop sign, and their exhaust, like, melts the snow, but then it freezes again. So it makes it icy in that spot, right at the stop sign, where you need it to not be icy, you know? Yeah. Because you need to stop. Like, the first road I went down where I had to stop, I, like, started sliding. I'm like, that's why I was driving super slow. Like, that's the key. Like, people, it what? starts snowing, and they drive like they normally fire, do in the okay? summer. It's like, you cannot We're drive like that, people. It. It will be just fine. You need okay. to slow the fuck down. We're doing all right. What's that? Uh, oh, the, uh, oh, yeah, this is it. This is the video of this moron. No, this is a, a girl. Oh, this is a uh, person. Uh, okay. A, a dad and his daughter. Oh, they're trying to get out. Yeah. Oh, yeah, that's scary, man. I would be freaking out. I would seriously be freaking oh, out. Yeah, I would okay. be like, that, the fire that close to the road? This has to be from last night from Thousand Oaks. No, we're going to get out of here. Fire. Come back when it's, uh, more princess oh, my God, there. that's so close to the road. And you can't see because it's so smoky. Yeah. It's just, okay, the campfire, Kate said. Okay. That's the campfire fire. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. the campfire. It must have been started by a campfire. Is that why they named it that? 
I don't know. You know they, well, oftentimes they say it, or they blame it on a campfire. We did it together. You know. yeah, that's scary there. shit, dude. I'm fu- That's fucking freaky. Oh, he's in the clear there. They're in the clear now. No, okay, in the clear. Good. So the the, the reporter, just as a side note, the reporter that, re- that posted this up there, Gat- Gaddy Schwartz, he used to be an Albuquerque guy. Uh, oh, okay. He was on the Albuquerque News. I guess he's national now. <laughs> Good for him. Oh, wow, that's awesome. No, that's great. That's great. Yeah, so... Uh, that's some balls there. The, the father was singing to his three-year-old daughter to keep her calm as they drove oh. through, the, through, oh. through, the, 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 through the devastating campfire. Right. Well, yeah. Can you imagine being a kid? A three-year-old especially, yeah. So, you know, right. Going through old, that. You're old enough to, oh, to realize God. stuff's going on. And, uh, I mean, that fire was right there on the road. It's just right next to it. Yeah, well, that's what they do. I mean, that's... Wow, that's yeah, crazy. definitely saving that's, their lives, Kate. I can't imagine that. Yeah. That's it's, that's awesome. But, um... All right, well, let's move on it, to a different topic. Okay. Yeah. I mean, we, we've talked about the fire for a good while here. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> But you know, it's something that it's, I, I know it's it's huge. It's, it's a big, it's big. It's, it's a big, it's a big deal. Ain't no doubt about that. Um. So, uh, yeah. Wow. Oh, I thought you would like this one. I, I put this. I saved this <laughs> article for you. <laughs> uh, absent from the public scene since election loss. Governor Walker tweets Bible verses. <laughs> yeah, I saw it. This guy is out there. He's like out there. Yeah, I mean, dude, well, really? You lost? Just so, whatever. So I mean, anyway, he, he here's, here's, some, of, here, here's some of the here's some of the stuff he's tweeting. Okay. Uh, for I know the plans I have for you, declares the Lord. Plans to prosper you and not harm you. Plans to give you hope and a future. Jeremiah 29.11. Oh, my God. And then he posted, uh, This is the day that the Lord has made. Let us rejoice and be glad in it. Psalm 118.24. Yeah, this guy is off his rocker. And he tweeted... Not taking defeat well, let's just say that. And and he tweeted... uh, I am I am not saying this because I am in need, for I have learned to be content, whatever the circumstances. I know what it is to be in need. Really? Uh, he looks like a rich bastard <laughs> no, to me. Uh, I know what, what, I, what it is to have plenty. I have learned the secret of being content in any and every situation, whether well-fed or hungry, whether living in plenty or in want. I can wow. do all things through him who gives me strength. Philippians 4, 11, wow. 13. It's just like... A... Hey, be quiet there. What was that? No. <laughs> uh, oh, it's one of these websites when you scroll down another story. Right, that and... video automatically plays. Yeah. <laughs> so. yeah, I hate that. Lunatic Walker. <laughs> yeah, he is, dude. I mean... But Evers, I fear, is no better as far as the weed issue, because he was the superintendent, the state superintendent of the school board, or whatever the fuck. Right. And you know he's not going to be pro weed. You know, and who knows who's who's he who bought and paid for him. Uh, exactly. Um, exactly. You know, it, it 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 doesn't it doesn't make me happy. I mean, I guess I'm glad Walker's out, but who's the new douche bay? You know, I mean, I'm not I'm not excited. You know, Michigan they test recreational marijuana. I don't know when it takes effect, but um, I knew that was going to happen because they're they they're already full blown medical marijuana already. Yeah. You know, um. And yeah. maybe it'll help. You know, the thing I I was thinking about the other day, and I'm, I'm sure we've discussed this before on the show, but, you know, does recreational mean you can grow your own weed? Yeah, well, in Michigan, it certainly does. Um, okay, know, well, me, that's good, because you could already grow a certain number of plants in Michigan. Yeah, well, Michigan, 
so so far Michigan has the has the best um rules, I guess we would call them that I've seen. Um it says okay. uh it allows you if you're 21 or older to carry two and a half ounces of pot. And wow. Most, most other places are only an ounce. And okay. And it also allows you to grow up to 12 marijuana plants in their homes for personal use. It was use. always 12, though. It was 12 before the recreational. Well, not for anybody that didn't have... If a medical marijuana card. The tag, yeah. Right. Um, exactly. You had to have the, the card. Okay, and the restrictions yep. on that include a 10-ounce limit for marijuana kept at home. Okay. Well, that's and, that's a lot. Actually, and, and any, anything over two and a half ounces to be locked in a container, whatever that means. A lot. Um, okay. Yeah. So okay. I, I, but anyway, it's kind of the one of the most um, liberal. Uh, I hate to use that wor that word, but that's the proper word. The most okay. li liberal rules I've seen in any of the various laws, whether Washington or Oregon or, or Colorado or. Uh, Maine or uh, Alaska. See, you now this interests me because I, you know how close to Michigan I am. Uh, pretty close. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I, I just I I'd like to. I I just feel like Wisconsin and Minnesota are going to be like two of the last states to even try to get it. You know, to even get medical marijuana. I think they have it in Minnesota now, but it's, like, really hard to get. Like, they're in the initial stages or whatever. Right. As far as Wisconsin goes, Wisconsin sucks, dude. We, we are so, like, behind the time. Like, it's going to be years before anything happens as far like if like, mission happened in Michigan. You know what I mean? It took years to get to this point. I'm saying 10, 15 years probably it took for Michigan to get to where they're at now. Right, you know, and it's just like really. Well, well, um, uh, since New Mexico is fully Democrat now, <laughs> yeah, top to frickin' bottom. <laughs> yeah. So maybe amongst all of the tax increases and gun confiscation and all of the other horrible things, maybe they'll they'll legalize marijuana here. <laughs> Do you have medical marijuana now? Yeah, we well, yeah, for for a certain very limited amount of conditions. Okay, yeah. it's just like here then. Well, it depends. I don't. I, don't, I mean, there's like. It's, it's probably like here. You, you pretty it's much have to be people, dying. Yeah. You have to you have to be dying to get it. Yeah. See, that's <laughs> ridiculous. You know. And then uh, I'm. It's just it just bugs me because it's like. You know, the federal government could just make a, a thing and just say, you know, a thing. I say a thing. I don't know a mandate or something, a law. Yeah. That, you know, like Rob said the other day in chat, just treat it like lettuce. Right, or whatever. Like just, produce. Just treat it you like, know? you know, dandelions or grass that grows in your yard right. or whatever. Yeah. You, you, know, you don't need I to, mean, to apply any rules to it at all, what, whatsoever. Exactly. Why, why even apply rules to it? Just free it, you know? I mean, this legalized stuff, we've talked about the dangers of that. Yeah. You know, and, you know, out in Colorado, I don't think anyone can just grow their own. Oh, in Colorado you can, I mean, yeah. they still do it, but no, legally. No, no in I Colorado, mean, you're, you're you allowed know, to in Colorado, but I don't, I don't, I think it's less than 12 plants. So. Um, okay, so, okay, I get, okay, yeah. that makes sense then. Like Michigan. Yeah, but a little tighter on the on the rules and right probably Which is higher surprising, but probably higher on the taxes and everything. But uh, I mean, but if it's you know my point, if any state needs money, it's fucking Michigan. Oh hell yeah, Michigan needs motherfucking money because they're fucking hurting, dude. You know that state. Oh, hurting. they they need a lot. They need a lot more than money. Oh God, you know, they need a lot. That, yes, that, that, they that need state. infrastructure. They need fucking. They need a lot. I mean, yeah, that, but that's... it's gonna it's gonna take money. Oh sure, is what I'm saying. You know, but, you know, in, in order to get money, you have to treat the people well and to allow and for investment, and... right? And you don't hear about Michigan anymore, as far as. Yeah. The Flint crisis, the water issue. I mean, I mean, uh, there's still some stories about Flint going around. And yeah, I mean, but it's not better yet. It's not no, it's better not yet. better yet. You don't hear about Fukushima either. That's not better no, yet either. No, 
know, you, it's you don't, how they are. You don't hear about the Gulf of Mexico, and that's not we better yet either. Not, you know, people <laughs> think it went away. You know, <laughs> they they do all these horrible things and right. ruin stuff, and, 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 and they just you know dumb it down, make you forget about it. You know, you create another false flag event. You know, and it's just oh my god. It's ad nauseum. It's just, it's just bad. I mean, you really have to. I, 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 I don't watch certain stations. I don't get my people claim, you know, accuse me of getting my news from CNN. It's like fuck no. All right, I'm gonna share this little story here with you. Okay. This is what. Order-order.com? I don't know. Anyway, it's, it's posted under Gaia Fox. Gaia, like Earth. You know, like Guy Fox, yep, yep. Gaia, Gaia Fox, whatever. Anyway, all of the times we had just months to save the planet. <laughs> right. Well, oh, yeah. <laughs> they got a picture of a girl here. I don't know who it is. And it says, don't let the planet go floppy. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, it says the BBC's left-wing topical comedy MASH report uh, program this week went hard on the UN's alarming suggestion that we have just 12 years left to save the planet. To Guido, it sounded very familiar. Andrew Sibbs told us a year later uh, that we only had 100 months to avoid disaster, uh, meaning time <laughs> ran out in 2016. Al Gore told us that we had just 10 years in July of 2008 to ensure the survival of the United States of America. So America has been screwed for four months now. Um, Jim, Hens <laughs> Jim Henson warned in 2009 that Obama only had four years to save the Earth. Apparently the Earth was lost in 2013. Uh, Prince Charles told us in May of 2008 that we had just 18 months to stop climate change. That gave us until the end of 2009. Um, Prince Charles, uh, by July of 2009, on the other hand, or on the other had, the other hand, this has been extended to just 96 months to save the world, which ran out in 2017. Lester Brown published in 2009 that we had only months, not years, to save civilization from climate change. It's been uh, seven years. Yeah, uh, so disaster, now inevitable. Is there nothing more we can do? Listening only to the alarmists over the years, you'd think that we'd all be underwater within a decade. On the other hand... Uh, <laughs> maybe ever heightened climate alarmism will continue to do nothing to offer remotely practical solutions to the challenges posed by a changing climate. Um, yeah, it's not really a challenge. Climate changes, deal with it. Uh, human ingenuity and uh, faster economic development will see us through after all. Half the Netherlands should be underwater right now. <laughs> <laughs> Let me know why I'm not I'm laughing. No, you should laugh. It's hilarious. It's it's, it's, it's the, these people are nuts. They're nuts. They're they're just yeah. They're out, out of their minds. Um, <laughs> I don't even. Jesus, uh, this is not good. I mean, I'm just gonna throw this in. Is like the, we were talking about the wind. Okay, we're not. Ta we're talking about sixty mile per hour winds. Okay. Where? In California. Oh, okay. That's that's that'll that'll definitely fan those I flames. I mean, that's high winds when you got a fire going. You know, uh, maybe that was yesterday. I don't know, but that this one's saying sixty mile per hour winds whipping right. this thing into a frenzy, and three hundred thousand people have been forced to flee their homes. Um, started Thursday, um, so far 200 square miles, 
Sorry to go back to this ground, but it's just like, hey, it's, you know. this thing is awesome. I mean, it's not awesome in a good way. It's awesome in a bad way, but uh, yeah, it's a bad situation out there. Right. Yeah, and it is. It's terrible. It's terrible. It's it's bad. Um, yeah, but in that article, you can look and you can see where the uh, uh, northern fires are. You can see Sacramento right there, so you can see where 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 uh, Donna's at. Yeah. Um, well, be safe, Donna. Everyone out there. Oh, I'm sure Callie. she's fine. She's fine. Yeah, everyone out there, just. Uh, and her safe. her thing says no wind. Hmm. Okay. Well. Yeah, wind. Maybe wind, that was wind, true wind. Yesterday, you know, maybe the winds got to that point. Yeah, yesterday. wind, wind t tends to die down at night. Yeah, that's what they said. It was dying out a little bit. So. Yeah. Yeah. Who's the boss? Was Alyssa Milano's first gig like on TV? I think she was an actress in commercials before that, but that's where she got her big break. Back in what the eighties? <laughs> I don't know. I'm fucking old. So <laughs> <laughs> uh, we're all old. <laughs> yeah, we are. You know, it's inevitable. You can't stop it. Like I'm like, oh my god, getting old sucks. Yeah, yeah, it do. But you can't stop it, so you just gotta make the best of it. Just fucking. I don't know. Just do what you can. You know? Yeah. All right. Let's play some more music. Okay. Let's do that. And we'll be back. All righty. We will. And I'll try to find something else to talk about. <laughs> oh, there's plenty of stuff, you know. Whatever. Oh, I know. There there, always there's doing, always plenty. But, yeah. All right, then. All right. This is, this is a really cool video and a good tune, too. Uh, Christopher Amoroso. <laughs> yeah, that's the, the band, uh, Last Waltz there. The Wait with the, the Staples Singers, yeah, the, the the sisters. Oh, and Pop Staples, too. Uh, that was a Miss Chloe request. Thank you for that, Chloe. Uh, before that, we had Crosby, Stills, Nash, and Young, and some others. Uh, helpless, what? Hel yeah, Helpless, live at Wembley Stadium back in 1970. That, well, that wasn't really singing. Um, that was no, more like... Singing. No, it wasn't. Money. And we kicked it off there with uh, no. Christopher Amoroso and Rabbit Hole Amoroso. <laughs> no, I saw the Von Helm's daughter Amy last live at Revival Festival last May. Yeah. And it was great because she has delved into his songs that were never recorded. Okay. And she's been playing, doing those now. Like bringing them back, or bringing, recording them, not recording, but performing them, you know. Okay. And recording, probably, but it's so cool because he's got, she was explaining that he's got all these books. She's got all these books of his that oh, have right. all these lyrics and songs written in them. So that was really interesting. Oh, that's cool, yeah. To find out. So she's like bringing back, like going delving into his old song books and performing these for the first time or whatever. You know right, what I mean? Right, right, right. It's really cool. Very cool. Just want to throw that in there. <laughs> yeah, excellent. Excellento. <laughs> anyway, that two neck guitar that was in there, that was pretty cool. Oh, yeah, neat. Yeah, did you, did you see that? Yeah, oh yeah. In the vid? Yeah. I forget what they're called. It's not called a tuna guitar. It's just my, like, terminology. <laughs> dually. <laughs> what? I just said a dually. A dually, yeah, there you go. <laughs> I know there's a certain term for them, but yeah. I just call it a tuna guitar. <laughs> Maybe that is the term. I don't know, but. All right, I, I want to cover this real quick. It, it, okay. it won't matter to anybody except 
me and a few other folks that mm -hmm. uh, if you use WordPress, um, WordPress 5.0 is coming out very soon, uh, November 19th, currently slated for November 19th. Could be a little longer than that, but maybe not. Anyway, and they're, and they're touting this really big, this new Gutenberg WordPress editor. And um, I, I, here's, here's what I, I, I think that this new 5.0 is going to crash millions of WordPress sites around the world. Um, oh, I, that's I, not good. I, I can't be sure of that, but uh, they're touting it. It's going to be a big thing. Um, so I, I, I have fear over this particular thing. Yeah. Um, the editor itself, I've looked at it, tested it, and it, it's not impressive to me at all. But they're they're pushing it out. They want it to be something new and fancy. It's a big, it's a major release, 5.0. You know, it's it's been a long time since they've updated uh, from the old tiny MCE editor that that, that everybody's been using. Um, like I said, it doesn't matter to, to to too many people here listening to this, but it matters a lot to me. <laughs> and okay. so, and so, I just I, I I keep seeing the news come out about this, and I got this uh, article from HostGator earlier today. They send me letters, you know, because they're my hosting company. Um, right, right. So we'll, we'll see what happens when it when it comes down, so but. Uh, Okay, yeah, I guess. I yeah. mean, I, I do not have a WordPress site. No, so but I'm, you do use WordPress sites. You you do use reallibertymedia.com. Yeah, you, I do. You do yeah. use Freedoms Network. I don't know if you still use that, but you did. Um, and, there, and I'm sure there's other WordPress sites out there that you use. So if you see some of them go offline on or about the 19th of this month, 10 days from now, don't be surprised. <laughs> okay. I, like I said, I, I think it, heads up. Yeah, I, like I said, I've tested it, and it's not. It's not. Uh, I'm not impressed, and uh, well, we'll we'll see what happens. But uh, whatever. Like I said, it doesn't matter to too many people. But uh, <laughs> yeah, they keep messing with stuff, don't they? Here's here's a, here's another WordPress thing that. I I never went for this because I never gave a crap about the the, the Europe, Europe oh six months ago now I guess it was they released the GDPR rules which uh, supposed to make sites more accessible you know allow allow you to know which sites are tracking you or doing whatever and and so uh, some guys put out a, a a GDPR compliance plugin for WordPress and now. Um, there's a huge vulnerabilities in this plugin, oh, and, great. And, and WordPress actually had to pull it, and and then they they put it back up, and there's still big problems with it, and and it's just like what, what the hell? <laughs> what are you guys do it, and I, I know a lot of people um, put that put that plugin in because they wanted to be GDPR compliant. Yeah, uh, and, and it's just like oh, you fox man, what the, what the hell were you thinking putting this stuff out there? And uh, what do you care? You know, I guess unless if you're in Europe, uh, okay, fine. Uh, oh, you, know, you got European customers, maybe uh, depending on what you do on your site. Um, like I said, I, I never gave a shit about it. Anyway, so there it is. I just they, they do things that piss me off. And um, you can, if you look through that article, you can see all the bad crap that happened. Uh, the, the different ways people could attack you using that plugin. Attack your website and uh, fuck GDPR. <laughs> that's, a, that's my take on GDPR. <laughs> oh God. <laughs> anyway, um, all right. Let's get back to some propaganda here. Big, all right. Big, big time propaganda for you right now from the New York Post. <laughs> uh oh. Teens sickened. After eating pot brownies at school. Uh oh. They're not sick and they're just stoned. <laughs> yeah, uh, you know, whatever. So five, five teen girls got sick after eating pot brownies at a Brooklyn high school. Uh, classmate, they got sick, really? Classmate brought in this week, police sources said on Thursday, the teens, three 14 year olds and one 16 year old, uh, snacked on the marijuana laced desserts. 
Uh, they class, didn't get sick. They just got high. A <laughs> classmate brought in the Franklin K. Lane Educational Campus uh, on Wednesday. Uh, four of the students became sick right away, and another oh, fell. Oh, became sick. Uh, another uh, an, another fell ill in the evening. Uh, they were treated at the hospital uh, <laughs> for these. What? Things. You took them to the hospital because they ingested weed? Uh, I tell you, man. Uh, the incident really? the incident was handled by school safety agents. Sources said no one was arrested. Uh, out of an abundance of caution, EMS was called. Uh, to the Franklin K. Lane campus yesterday, and all students have recovered. Imagine that! Yes, because they were just high! <laughs> the Department of Education... They weren't sickened! <laughs> Department of Education... They just got stoned! Miranda Barbeau said in a statement, Safety always comes first, and we will oh, take God. appropriate follow-up action. Now... Okay! I, I, I don't know what could have possibly thought uh, made these kids think they were sick. Uh, maybe it was the first time they ever had pot brownies. Maybe, but and they it, weren't it, sick, and I guarantee you they were just stoned. It, it is a different feeling than smoking. Um, right. And, uh, and you know, maybe, maybe, maybe you could get a little nauseous. I, I don't know. Um, you could, I guess, maybe. But or, or at least a little dizzy, off balance, something like that. But, right, yeah. Uh, you're not, no, you're not sick. You're safe. You're you fine. You feel like you're sick, but you're not. There you're ain't, no, ain't no reason. Ain't no reason to go to no hospital over eating some pot brownies. No, no, <laughs> not at all. Like I said, the propaganda. <laughs> oh, Moose Girl got the duck. I did surprisingly. <laughs> anyway, um. This whole propaganda about weeds continuing, obviously. <laughs> obviously, obviously. Oh, they were sickened. Uh, uh, yeah, by something that's not going to kill them. They weren't sick, they were stoned. Here's a good freaker story. Okay, sounds good. <laughs> you laugh, so I like that, when you laughed before. Yeah. Oh, God. Pornhub... Offers offers free blowjobs for upstate New York residents. Yeah, oh, man. Oh. There you go. Oh, lawn blowjobs. <laughs> okay. <laughs> the, well, okay. The international por pornography portal Pornhub has launched a promotion in New York offering free leaf removal service. The website will work with a local company to help ease uh, residents' seasonal labor while promoting their brand. Uh, okay. So, anyway, it's just funny because of the title. No, we talked about this, though. It's just, you know, a blowjob should not be called a blowjob. Well, regardless, it's you still know, a funny a title. A kind of blowjob should not be called a blowjob. It's still it's a funny... It's a stuck job. It, it's, still and, a, it's still a funny title. <laughs> it is still a funny title. I, I get it. <laughs> I'm just Poor, saying. But, but, but this... They okay, look, look. have those look. sucker... Now. You know, where they have the little bags and you just go around like a vacuum for your lawn. Yeah. You ever seen them? I mean, they exist. I don't, I don't think so, no. <laughs> anyway, the campaign suggestively titled Pornhub Blows America. <laughs> <laughs> nice. <laughs> and the company's press release was unsurprisingly not short of thematic jokes. Uh, this fall, Pornhub is lending a hand in offering to blow America and remove okay. your and remove your leaves for free. Now, just just think about this though. Uh, think, think of think of think of okay, Pizza Hut, uh, not Pizza Hut, Domino's. Domino's is, is paving roads. Is paving roads, fixing potholes. Yeah, um, potholes. Tesla, I think it's Tesla, is is um, giving people free electricity or. Or, or doing, oh, really? doing some, yeah, they're doing some kind of thing like that, uh, provide, providing power for people that, that, that can't afford it. And, and now Pornhub is, is, is offering free service to come out and, and, and clean your leaves away for free. These companies are doing these things, and the government is doing shit and, and stealing all your money. Yeah. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, that, uh, you know, they do things that, 
you know, beyond your control. Like, I own my home, but yet they do some fucking reassessment and say my home is worth more now, which I'm glad of, I guess, but at the same time, my property tax better not fucking go up anymore, dude. Just because you, like, did an assessment and determined my house was worth more than it was five years ago, you know, that's great, but... But it's it not. not. You, you, could, you couldn't sell it for more than you could five years ago, probably. Right. Exactly. And it's like, it better, it better not make my property tax go up because you determine my house is worth more. Well, of course they... Like, did you really look at my fucking house? It needs fucking... You know, you didn't look at the inside of my house. No, no, no. The outside they... of my house. You didn't see that I need a new furnace. You didn't see that my central air doesn't work. Well, you should be able to... When you get the estimate, you get the estimate in, like, in the fall sometime. Yeah. Uh, I think you're allowed to challenge the number. Well, yeah. Because I'll be like, dude, my house isn't worth as much as you said it is. You know why? Because it needs a new HVAC system. It needs, you know, a new siding. Right. I mean, <laughs> those things are not cheap. You can't put this, you know, tech, 10 grand on the value of my home. Right. When it's going to cost me 20 grand to make the improvements, uh, improvements that it needs. <laughs> yeah. They make it seem like, okay, so the government has tunnel vision. They think that if you own a home, it's two people, two adults working, you know, paying, you know, paying to the bills, the utilities, and paying to maintain the home. Well, not right. in my case. That's not the case. There you go. You Deferred know. maintenance. That's perfect. I'm a single fucking person, and I do what I can to improve, make improvements, but some improvements are beyond my reach at this point in time, like a new HVAC system. <laughs> That's, like, ten grand. Sure. You well, know, that, I can't But, but a new HVAC help. system, like like Kate's pointed out, a new HVAC system is not an improvement. It is maintenance. Right, okay, yeah, okay. I, I think there. That's true. Yeah, so... So, but even looking at the outside of my house and seeing that some of the siding, the corners... Of the siding is coming off is is off. Yeah, that, again, that's you know, still that's like, still. They can see that. That's that's still all maintenance, though. So. Yeah, and see they okay. So my point is is so how can they assess more value if these things haven't been done already? No, so, I don't know. They, they do it every year though. Every year. Yeah, they... well, yeah, and it's just like, <laughs> are you fucking kidding me? Oh, well, I, I I think it's pretty easy because that way they can they they want more of your money, so they say your house is worth more. Right. And it's a fucking scam, dude. Yeah. It's a scam. I mean, seriously. I mean, I might, I, okay, the first time that I did one of those home rehab loans through the city. Yeah. It was great because it's for people like me that are lower income, that, you know, single, single um, income. And... You know, I think enough time has lapsed now where I could maybe apply for another one. No, I couldn't sell it for the assessed value, Kate, because it needs these things inside, in the interior. Well, it needs I mean, the bathroom, in order, the in order to be, that needs to be finished. The furnace, the HVAC system needs to be replaced. The siding needs to be either fixed or replaced. You know what I mean? It's, it's simple. It's, it's not many major things, but the HVAC system, that's the major thing right there. Right. It, 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 that's, that's why I said you can appeal the assessment if it, if if the assessed value is over the actual market value. Um, but in right. order to, to determine that, you just got to do some comps, see what's going okay, on. Okay, so there, I will do that a, because I'm going to be like, because they well, sent you, me it's a too late for this year. Ago. It's going to be too late for this year to appeal the assessment, but you can do it for next year. Well, no, I think I could appeal it for the one I just did. I don't think so. I think they give you a period of time after after they well, said I'll you asked. Well, it was only a couple of months ago I got the letter. I mean. Oh, okay. So, yeah, but what I'm saying is this is how they fucking, you know, they put everybody in the same bucket. And now everybody's in the same bucket. 
All right, but you, you know. know, they think, oh well, if you have a house worth this much, you live in a house worth this much, then obviously there's probably two people providing for the the maintenance and the repairs and everything. You know what I mean? Sure. It's like no, it's just one person. You it's know. Mommy. One full, t- and I've done what I can through the years, you know, but right, it, right. when it comes to major stuff, I can't get it done, yeah. you know. Well, they're thieves, that's all we know. Yes, yep, and it's a big, you know, it's a big old fucking trap. Yeah, we you get know? our, we get our, um, whatever they call it, estimated property values letter in in the fall sometime, it's in April or, I think it's April, and, and then I think they give you 90 days, up to 90 days, to appeal that, whatever whatever the value they say is. And See, they don't do it every year here. They said that in the letter. They oh, we do it every year. Once every yeah. four years or something. Uh, we, they reassess, uh, go through it. You know okay, I mean? well, then, then it's definitely worth your worth your, worth your your money. To do it because if it's every right. four I years, have to look and, and ask the letter again and call the number and just say, hey, you know, I don't agree with this uh, the value you put on my home. Right. Well, you, you know? can't just say I don't agree. You have to have proof. <laughs> well, I do. I need a new HVAC system. All right. Well, I mean, they can. Well, how do I prove that? I just show them the. It's never been replaced here since I moved in twelve years ago. Yeah, well, it's just all you got to do is run some comps in the, for the area, and and, okay. and when you get those, and then you subtract from whatever the comp prices are, all of the all of the maintenance okay. costs that you need. Yes. So so then then that'll determine your actual sellable value. Okay, which is yeah, because it's going to be a big difference. Okay, well, it's gonna be like thirty grand less than what they said. All right, you know that's I mean? good. That's that. That'll make At it. Least. That'll definitely make a difference in your bill. Right. So that's. What, I mean, because you feel like helpless, but then now they've done this, you know, and now I have to be the one to jump through the hoops to get, you know, and have to appeal it or whatever the fuck they call it. Sure. You know what I mean? This is what how they get you. <laughs> they make it difficult to to. Reverse the decision. You know what I'm saying? I know. I know. It's just it's bullshit because they it put is. everybody in the same boat. They don't like take in each individual case. Well, it's the government. What do you expect? Of course, I, it's I know, bullshit. I know. This is why I can't stand it. Yeah. I mean, seriously, it, it's just ridiculous. It's like people don't. You know, put up enough stink or whatever, or bitch enough about it. You know, we just, you know, I get it sometimes when people say, you ha- you can't, we can't let this keep happening. Well, you know, it's easier said than done. You know, you pick an injustice, pick a cause, water, air, you know, I don't know, what, whatever. You know, it, they make it so hard to fight them. And you gotta do all these things. You gotta jump through all these hoops. You gotta get signatures and blah blah blah. You gotta go well, to it's a process. You gotta, you gotta you know, it's just like come on. It's a process you have to go through. Common sense. What? It's just a process you have to go through. It is, but it's bullshit. Yeah, well, you know, what are you gonna do? They, okay, this is what the problem <laughs> I have is the government does whatever. And then and then and people are like, hey, wait a minute. So the, they just go ahead and do whatever. Of course. They don't give a fuck what you or what the people want or think. No, no. It, 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 no, by the time we, it, you know, it, they already passed the law or whatever. By that time it, it affects us. And by that time it's too fucking late to stop it. So now we have to fucking, well, it's too fucking late to stop it from being enacted. So now we have to fight and fucking get it removed. Sure. You know, and this is this is why it's just fucking bullshit. I know. Because you can't win. I mean, they make you it can hard. Win. You can, but you have to spend a lot of fucking time, a lot of fucking money, and do a lot of research if right. you want to win. Be- it ain't easy. No. But you can do it. It can happen, but. <laughs> 
if, if you look, look, with, look you know? if you can shave thirty thousand dollars off the value of your home, and of, of what their assessed value of your home is, then, you're, then, you, then that's worth it because you're going to save a lot of money exactly. on that tax bill. So exactly. I, I, I would say, said, yes. Oh, it doesn't necessarily mean your property tax is going to go up. Well, yeah, I know what that means. It's going to go up. Of course you're going to go up. Yeah. But, I mean, they have a formula. The they have a formula of value, you know, that... that exactly. You know. And I don't... No, I have to appeal this. This is bullshit. I can't... <laughs> I'll be like, hey, look, this, this home needs a, a lot of remodeling and repair before it's going to be worth the value <laughs> that you assessed it well, for. Goober's got the answer right there. The only solution to not getting shafted by the government is to build spaceships and leave. Oh, yeah, leave for the great <laughs> unknown. Just fly off into space. Good luck to writing that one. You know? Uh, yeah, the problem is uh, hey, once you uh, build that spaceship and you take off in, in, in the air, they'll shoot you down. <laughs> right. They'll be like, oh, UFO, you're done. <laughs> shoot, shoot your ass down. I mean, it's great to dream, uh, and it's great to think about leaving this planet. But, uh, you know, I love this planet. I know that I need fucking oxygen to breathe. Yeah. So, and I know for sure right now, so far, this planet has it. It might not be good oxygen, and there might be, it might be dying, but for now... I have no choice but to be here. Yeah, well. I have no fucking choice. No, you don't. But I have uh, a, I have a choice know, to play some music, so I'm going to do that. Let's do that, and <laughs> we will, we shall return. I think you're and down. talk about more fascinating, fascinating things. Absolutely. Like, like my property tax. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> well, I think you're going to like this first one. This All is, right. Oh, Kate, yeah. Miss, Let's like it. Miss Kate request. All right. <laughs> oh, that's such a trippy video. Freaky. Freaky stuff there for the Freakers Ball. Jen Wigmore doing a hey ho. Uh, <laughs> just trippy stuff. Before that, uh, the R R Red House, an uh, excellent cover of Jimi Hendrix's Red House, there by Gary Moore. Just just really good stuff. And we kicked it off with Purple Rain, uh, Jeff Beck and uh, Beth Hart, with uh, several others uh, yeah. in, involved in there in that video. Um, so, yeah, Tyler, yeah, he's in there. That's a Kate request. <laughs> right. Yeah. So, uh, yeah. The fiat currency system is, is designed to be a failed debt system. It's designed, it's set up that way. Okay. Fiat currency. Right? Uh, well, of course. Yeah, the, the, it's uh, set up to be like this. It's set up so the rich get richer. The rest of us motherfuckers. Well, it's set up that whoever whoever makes the money, whoever right. creates the money, uh, they'll they'll never run out of people that owe them money because when as soon as they give you money, you owe them more than they gave you. Right. And, and so it's fucked up. And and that money doesn't actually exist. Exactly, because <laughs> it's just numbers on a computer screen. It's not real value. <laughs> It has the value that they say it's worth, but... It, it, <sighs> okay, the biggest example that I... And this is really basic. I get that. It's really fucking basic. But this is how I described it to my kids back in the day when we were going to Ron Paul speeches and shit. Not like hardcore. We only went to two. But... I told them the difference between or real okay, the item with real value is something that is it it, it it can't be really destroyed, you know what I mean? Right. Or it would take a long time to destroy it. I mean so I actually burn a dollar bill in front of them. And I'm like and then I'm holding the fucking thing of silver, I'm holding a lighter under that. I'm like 
this don't fucking burn, dude. <laughs> <You know? laughs> well, Not with a lighter, anyway. You know? Uh, I, I, I don't know that that's the best example, but... Um, no, it, the, my example was money. Okay, the money, is, the fiat money is printed on paper. You know, and it's, it's the 20 and the, the 1 and the 100 are all printed on the same fucking paper. Right. You know, and paper can be burned up. You know, you can't just go around burning up your fucking silver unless you've got a fucking goddamn blacksmith fire, you know? Uh, right. Or whatever, you know what I'm saying? Right. Like, to me, I thought it was a good example, you know? Paper versus silver or gold. No comparison, right? Right. There's no comparison between paper versus silver or gold. Uh, no, there's not. And just to me, that was a good example. Like, they were young. They were like eight or seven or something. You know what I mean? Yeah. So I was trying to be as basic as I could, like I said, you know? Right. But they understood. I felt they got sure. it. Even though nowadays, they're wrapped up in the whole game, going to college, Having to get jobs, you know, having to do piss tests, you know. Sure. I mean, I, I told my, I'm like, get used to these. Like, we don't want to do the piss test. I'm like, well, if you don't smoke weed, you got nothing to worry about. <laughs> you know? Right. I mean, if you didn't want a cold glass night, you're good. You smoke weed, you're fucked. Right. That's the problem I have with drug tests, is they do not test, they say they test for all drugs. Yeah. But cocaine is out of your system in 24 hours. Yeah. Weed is not. No, it's not. And so, to me, the drug tests are targeting weed specifically, all right? Sure. I mean, maybe nowadays they're targeting op opioids. Or other things, but to me, drug testing is because of weed. Yep. And it's bullshit because you got all these people on these pharma drugs. Are they testing for big pharma drugs? Are they testing for alcohol? Because if you drink the night before your drug test, alcohol is going to show up in your piss. Am I right? You would think so. It's going to. So, my point is, is they, they probably don't even test for that. But, well, like, if you're a trucker, you get in an accident, you instantly go to a hospital or a clinic right away, and they take your blood. Yeah, yeah. And you can't, I mean, but even truckers can hide uh, substance abuse. Oh, sure. They can. Sure. Easy. They can hide it. Easy enough. Yep. Anyway, let's uh, let's do some quick hitter stories here. Okay. Some one hitters. <laughs> no. one hit what does that mean? Oh, no. okay, one hitter. <laughs> All right, uh, from uh, KTVN, Nevada. Which is where? Which is where? Nevada. Oh, Nevada. You just said that. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, Nevada makes DMV voter registration automatic. So, what? <laughs> uh, they, they've made it automatic. Nevada so voters... Like, you have your driver's license, you're automatically registered? Nevada voters have approved. The voters have approved. Making everybody else be a voter, too. Uh, making voter registration automatic when a person applies for a driver's license or an ID card. Um... Uh, apparently, the, the voters said, the rest of you that are not voters, you're going to be voters. Because we want you to be voters. Because voters love voters. Of course. And they hate non-voters. <laughs> yes, but, they do. But, but it, it, it used to be uh, an opt-in system that you had, but now it's an opt-out system. So you can still opt out of it. Uh, but, but when you go down there... Um, Good. Uh, yeah, you just but but most people may overlook that. that but even if you're registered, doesn't mean you're vote. You vote. No, no, no. But but it does mean that they'll call you for jury duty. Oh yeah, they're gonna call you. They're gonna you know during election time. 
Right, yeah, they'll, they'll get you on their... Binge the mail. They'll get you on their rolls. That's what they want. Oh, yeah, that's what they want, you know. And that way somebody can also steal your steal your vote from you. Yeah, I'm lucky because I lived in the same place for so long yeah. that I'm already, I've been registered for a long time, you know. It's just like, they just go right to my name. I'm right back, you know what All I mean? Right. And I came across this story today, which is... I don't even really know what to think about it, but here it is. Uh, from Yahoo, actually, yahoo.com. Yahoo. Men are now afraid to give women CPR in case they're accused of <laughs> sexual assault. Oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. That's not funny, let's but bitch. I'm laughing because it's ridiculous. Let's bitch die. <laughs> Yeah, you know, and they might, they could, they could use that as an excuse. I can see that happening. You know, why didn't you help this woman? Well, I didn't, I, you know, I didn't want to do CPR. Her boobs are crazy. Boobs are crazy. Yeah, you got to put your and, mouth on you know, her mouth. You know, that's. Yeah, no, that would be. You know, you know, you know, you know what those are? My, uh, I don't know. It's been maybe a month or so ago. I saw a story about yeah. the 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 um, Sleeping Beauty story. Yeah, about oh how how, how yeah, it's, it's, the 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 uh, the some Christian so, Bell. So, so no some feminist group um want, wanted to, to get you got to get rid of the Sleeping Beauty story because that's sexual assault. This well, this guy it's just this, so white though this, too. This guy this guy go walks up and, and kisses this girl that's asleep. Right. You know what the hell is that? That's rape. Yeah, they're <laughs> saying they're saying it's non non consensual. Yeah, so anyway, uh, women who fall over with us. That's all just to the story, though. That's the fairy tale part of it. Exactly. The prince comes along and kisses. Oh, I, I know it's insanity, but, it's, whatever. but but this here, this here, too. Women who fall over with a heart attack may be left unaided, as men are too afraid to give CPR in case they're accused of sexual assault. Oh, my God. Researchers from the University of Colorado surveyed people on their attitudes in the wake of the me too movement <laughs> interviewees said among other things they they feared being accused of inappropriate touching or sexual assault well, can you blame them <laughs> no i don't blame them i don't either i don't blame them uh, men are twice as likely to cite this fear as reasoning right. for not administering cpr researchers found I agree with that. Well, I speak, you know, the, 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 the whole fear. thing. I agree with the fear of it. You know the, what I mean? The whole thing of all, all men are rapists, right? Yeah. Well, no, I don't think that. No, no, no. You don't think that, but so that's what they. That's that's the story they use. Right. Or, yeah. Or the 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 uh, idea they're trying to push. Right. Exactly. Yeah. Um. So, yeah. So yeah. Screw them, man. They. They. Um. <laughs> I mean, I get it because, you know, with all this shit going on lately, you know, even if you, let's say, like, you did do CPR on a woman and they came, even if you saved their life, they could come back and say, you also sexually assaulted me. You, was like, <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, that would be a really shallow motherfucking person, but, you know what I'm saying? I uh -huh. could see it, like, happening, you know, which would be really, like, lame. That would suck. Right, yeah, I can see right, that, right. Now, are you, are you familiar, like, with some, like, apartment buildings or whatever? They have a garbage chute where people put, take their trash and they, and, and they yes. put it in a chute. Now, yes. if you were at one of those places and you happened to drop your cell phone yes. into one of those, yeah, would, would you go in after it? Uh, maybe. <laughs> well, you might want. Depending wanna... on what kind of thing I had to go into, like if it was well, some little, one of those... little dumpster, it could be like, oh, there it is, right on top. I'd be like, okay, you know. But if you dropped it like you're on the third floor and you dropped it in the garbage, garbage chute by accident. Uh, no, I would not. Okay, well, you're no. smarter than that. This guy, man, crushed in trash compactor. Oh, after God. reportedly trying to retrieve phone. Oh, my God. <laughs> so, he, this man's in critical condition after he fell down an apartment building's garbage chute. Oh, uh, he, but he tried to go down the chute. No, if it were me, I'd go down to where the chute ends, 
and look at, the, because there's a container at the bottom of the chute. You don't go in the chute. You go down okay. to where the phone ended up once you threw it in the chute. Okay. Well, see, it's weird here. It says a man, and then it says, so anyway, when he went down there, it activated the trash compactor with him inside. Oh, God. Um, Oh God! <laughs> and a freak. So uh, Scott Walsh was with a friend when she oh, managed to drop her phone. So it wasn't even his phone; it was his, his oh, girl's phone. It was some girl's phone that he dropped. She dropped down there, and he went in after it. Oh um, shit! So <laughs> Walsh, 22, attempted to reach for the phone. Instead, tumbled headfirst in. So he, he was just trying to reach in there, and he tumbled oh, headfirst he into the in chute. There. And fell about 15 feet landing oh, in no. what turned out to be the trash compactor. Oh, my God. When he fell down, it activated the compactor. Oh, shit. <laughs> That's bad. That's, oh, my God. <laughs> wow. Oh, he was trying to impress the girl, probably. I guess, yeah. He was trying to, oh, I'll, if I get, if I get I'll get your cell phone. <laughs> I'll, I'll get your cell phone back. Well, I'll get some. I'll be getting some. <laughs> you better get me some if I do this. Now oh, he's heck. in critical condition. I don't mean to laugh. I, don't, I, don't. I, I hope he recovers. I, I, I hope so. Anyway, about a time. I got. I got to do the last set here. Um, okay. I thought I, I thought I had more time, but I don't. Uh, no, we. That always happens, Graham. I know. You know? I know. I know. Natural disaster going on in California. All right, well, sing along, folks. All right, everyone enjoy. Yes, indeed. <laughs> Before that, though, we had Joanne Shaw Taylor with Soul Station live at the Borderline in London. Uh, preceding that was the Dead South with Boots. That's, that's a funny, sad kind of video there, Boots. But it's a cool tune. Anyway, and we kicked it off with Jim Croce, Bad Bad, uh, Leroy Brown uh, for Miss Boots there back on the Midnight Special of 1973. Good yeah. stuff, good stuff. Very good. Yeah. So, uh, anyway, I guess that's going to wrap it up. Uh, tomorrow you got the dark table yep. at noon with Flash Arena. I'll be on at noon on Sunday with the blues, and we'll be playing some trivia here. And then Hal Anthony's on at 3 on Sunday with uh, all the good, good information he's got for you. So don't miss it. Right. Yeah, right. <laughs> all right then thanks yeah. everyone it's yeah awesome. thank y'all great, great glad to have you with us have a good weekend and peace peace